Hello YouTube and welcome to Richmond as we continue the Triggered Kevshear weekend with the Triggered Kevshear 300 and alongside me once again is Stephen Paul III. Hello guys. On the front row today, a driver without a single what? top five this season, it's Matt Hamill in the 61 car. He'll start alongside two-time short track winner this season, Matt Dixon, uh, as Dixon tries to still lock up his spot in the chase. Steve Pollard, Dylan Young, a pair of drivers trying to make the chase. Dylan Young needs a win. Pollard needs to outscore the 42 by 11 points. They'll make up row two. Jesse James, Cole Deaver, row three, a couple of rookies that have yet to go to victory lane so far this season. With Stephen Pollard third and Oriole Pollard in row four. Uh, neither driver here having a win so far this season, so a win would put them hopefully into the chase. Um, Pollard trying to win two nights in a row. And row five is Enzo and Rosa Sky Commons. Here's the rest of Stein Grizz. I hand over to Steven for his thoughts and predictions. So the uh, this we have 40 drivers still on for the chase. Uh, we don't have enough time to go over everything. But Kev Shear, Braxton, and uh, Paul Swanson um, will play a big factor. If we have 15, if we have uh, points that we win, they lock into the 16 spot. If Sam Young can maintain the points here, Xander Dula gets it, we'll have 16. Matt Hamill's best finish here is ninth three times as we get to our final row of Ace Rogers, the normal winner, and Mascalize Door. Trevor Jermaine, 40th in points, could still make the chase at 30. Carter Joy will play a big factor into this. And there's a lot of Brothers, scenarios that we go into. We don't have enough to go around right Noah now, but you got to win this race. Points do matter to a point, but you mainly got to win to lock your spot. In. There's a lot of storylines that we'll go over after the command here. Uh, command, actually, you talked through it, so. Oh, well, there's too much scenarios for a command. As the field is rolling here, uh, points standings coming in. Sam Young is the points leader by just two single points over Kev Shear. If Kev beats Sam Young, then we will have a new points leader. Braxton, also without a win, is 26 back. Mohamed Zain Abdullah is 103 back with three wins this season. Paul Swanson, 113 back, could also still leave here as the points leader. Those are the five that the 25 extra points for the regular season champion comes down between as we are green here from Richmond yep, and so a lot of things got handle he needs to win Steve Paul trying to get two he's outside by like 12 points so he definitely needs to be up he does need a win just needs to get more out by else man the seven was on the brakes there as down the back straightaway still side by side between Hamill and Dixon Dixon trying to use the outside line to his advantage isn't going to make it work. Here comes the 91 of Steve Pollard. Three wide back there. That's going to be a wreck. They keep it going in the right direction. Sky Commons only needed 36th or better to be able to clinch his chase spot. He's right now up on the outside line trying to find a way down. And uh, it's funny, Pollard right behind the 57 car. The 57 car won here two seasons ago, so I mean, that's a good old one for Jesse James. Oh, last week's winner, Rob Evans, with a mirror full of JT Bryant down the front straightaway. Yep, Rob Evans, who had no top fives going to last week, is trying to get another one and get into the chase. It's, wow, Oreo Paul is on the brakes. Uh, Oreo Pollard trying to find a way to the inside line, stuck on the outside of the 21 right now. Now has a mirror full of Sky Comms 3 wide behind him, Mike Trout in the middle of it. Yep, as uh, here comes JT, who also needs a win, Jerry Shelley. <laughs> He ain't winning this race as he's coming <laughs> down here. Oh, you were so convinced that he was going to win Monza. That almost worked well, out. Well, I was, but then we found out he didn't, so he lost my faith. As three wide here, the Reza, after a horrible stretch of races, decides to up with a great three wide move. And so Nareza, fit, or sorry, ninth or better for the 40, will clinch him his chase spot. How about this top four? No, besides Steve Paul, no oh, trouble! All the John oh, Urban's John guy coming, Swanson oh, up and oh, over God, is the 76. What a hit. As they're still trying to wreck. Zayn Abdullah, Collins. Oh, that's big. Zayn Abdullah's a wreck. Trevor Collins is in it. That is what Kev Shear wanted to see. And Braxton, Zayn Abdullah wrecking. Oh, oh God. Nearly some tempers there. And the chase hopes for Paul Swanson up in Our smoke. Dinner. What, the 76? God, what did he hit? The water barrels like Michael Waltrip? Hard to tell as uh, Matt Hamill is still the race leader. What? As the field gets sorted out. Uh, and okay. 
we're hearing that this might be a huge break for Sky Commons, who was reporting issues early on. Still trying to feel it out as he'll stay on the track. Let's go ahead and take a look back at what happened. Taking a look at what happened coming through turn number one. I saw Sky Commons get sideways first, and it's going to be from contact from the 03. Well, Sends him the, down into the 20. There's Jermaine, just an innocent victim here. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh. oh, oh God. What a hit for Trevor Jermaine in the 76. Oh, oh there's Zane Abdullah getting his damage. Well, Marilyn Escandari, Mitchell Collins as well. So, uh, like Matt Charles, Duncan you run the 76 next week? <laughs> I think we're fine on that. Uh, <laughs> As we're hearing, all drivers were okay from that one. What a uh, hit, though, for Trevor Jermaine, Paul Swanson with a ride, and maybe John Irvin's chase hopes as well going and ending here. Let's go back to the restart. And we're back. Field has been given the one-to-go signal. You see there Trevor Jermaine, Paul Swanson, the only drivers out of the race after that last instance. So that helps Sky Commons. Also helping is the fact that the 29 is one lap down. So we've now basically lost two contenders out of that fight for the points lead. Matt Hamill is the race leader over Steve Pollard, Stephen Pollard third, Jesse James, Enzo Nereza, Dylan Young, Hunter Braxton, Matt Dixon, Buffode Sacco, and Cole Deaver, the top 10 as we get ready for the restart here on lap 11 as we complete lap 10. Green flag is back out. Trouble oh, for Nereza! Oh, wow. That's big. Oh, oh Nereza, that is not what you wanted to see there. Oh, it's what a, a heartbreak. Are we still green? I'm surprised he stopped uh, on the track. He pulled off the track. I think we're still good. Braxton oh. now making move for sec. No, caution flag flies. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, trouble. Oh, no, that's because Andrew Miller. Andrew Miller, 47, goes for a spin. Matt Hamill is still the race leader. Oh, that's a tough And the 40 needed what? They've Ninth had a or better. stretch of races. They were top 10 in points at one point. They've been doing horrible. Mike oh, Trout Mike also Trout. with damage in the 99. Not surprised. A street, had a streak of, what was it, nine or it was, uh, three straight top fives coming in? Yeah, that's, that's going to be over after today. What a crazy restart. And we might have pit stops. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, 25 laps longer this year. Oh, so people staying out? Uh, Stephen Paul, Stephen third, Paul strategy. third will pit as well as Braxton. <laughs> Dixon was saying, oh, God. Buffode Sacco, JT Bryant, Rob Evans is pitting. Sky Commons is staying out despite reporting a vibration, so obviously must have thought it's not too severe. Yeah, he's not running the Bernie Lamar started park car, so. Kyle Matthews as well. John Irvin will take another shot to pit, and we'll take a look at what happened to bring out the caution for the second time tonight. Taking a look at what happened. This was going through one and two. You see Miller makes the move on Fitzwater there. This would have been a battle for 17th. Wow, but then gets turned it. from behind by our points leader, Sam Young. He really wanted to catch Kev. And then back here. Nope, Mike Trout gets a Joey, pace. Carter Gardner. Joey as well. And Johnny Gardner. Seth Cole also. Another guy trying to get into the top 30. Like so Seth, that's a huge. Looks like Seth's fine. Is Carter Joey? No, the Carter doesn't got too much damage, though. He does oh, got a little nose. But Trout immediately pit. Haley Lordigan had a moment here with the apron. Keeps it going in the right direction. Uh, and so differing pitch strategies here underneath the caution. Let's go back to the restart. Field has been given the one to go signal, and we're ready to go back to racing once again. No drivers out of the race, but we now have four cars that are one lap down, as you see them start to pull up here. Matt Hamill is still the race leader over Steve Pollard, Jesse James, Matt Dixon, Dylan Young, Cole Deaver, Oreo Pollard, Zachary Fitzwater, Kev Shear, Jessica Shelton, the top 10, Sky Commons, Ace Rogers, Haley Lordigan, Carter Joey, Sheila Shear, Seth Cole, Johnny Gardner, Zach Flickinger, Mary Shelley, and Quentin Moore are the top 20. And As Quinton's now the lowest one who can make the chase with Jermaine now. As we're back to racing once again, Enzo Nereza trying to get that lap back. And save our sanity. And there's three wide back there. That's not going to work out too well. And you got Steve Pollard trying to Steve it. Pollard's going to try and make it three wide here and a bow for the race lead. Steve won back at Bristol. Another short track. That's all. What are you doing, Steve? Steve
Still gonna make it three wide again, this time with Nereza in the middle. <laughs> Steve Pollard Paul leads at the line. He's playing no games. How about the Jesse James is here? Hamill, Whoa, oh, Hamill. Hamill got sideways after a little bit of contact, I think, there. Dylan Young. Dylan Whoa, Young, and around goes the 29. Again, but he the 27. Oh, but oh, this time God. it's in front of the field. Big wreck. Oh, this guy comments. Oh, before Zach got last year's winner. Oh, oh God, this Pitbull. ain't going to end well. This ain't going to end well. There's still wreck. Oh. Oh, God, Sam Young. Points leaders what? involved. James Qualls is in it. Ryan, is not Ryan in. James is there. Caution flag flies again. Steve Pollard is now the leader. My and God, a couple of incidents happening to bring out the caution for the third time tonight. He's big. Steve also having to wait for the pace car. Oh, yeah. Steve. Steve. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so Steve Pollard pits. Jesse James will pit. Dylan Young will stay out. Well, at least we're going to have some green flag racing now with half the field out. Uh, looks like everyone else besides the two is pitting. <laughs> we'll go ahead and sh look at the pit stops and then sh uh, look at what happened. Uh, as everyone else, I think, bes oh, was yeah, Trout's a lot down. That was insane. Qualls, I mean, Qualls is dead. I mean, that was a, the whole the whole car was destroyed. As Dixon. You see left side, so it's four tires and fuel up and down pit lane. Rob Evans is going to be first what? off pit lane. Oh, dear Lord. Followed by Bafod Sacco, then Daniel Gitterok is third, Jerry Shelley fourth, and what? GT Bryan fifth off pit lane. What? Let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. Taking a look at what happened to start this. Coming off turn number two. Well, they're four wide. Well, that wasn't going to work. Contact with the 2781 into the 47. Carter Joey saves his season, not pulling Jermaine there. And then it's on. Well, oh, God. Flickinger. Yes, Seth, oh, Seth Cole turn. gets turned. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Oh, Kevin the Wall quit. It. What a job. Well, Sky Commons there. Oh, That's what well. leads to all of that. Let's take a look at the 12 on the back straightaway. Well, well, and, we'll take uh, a look at the 12 entirely. I think so, he got turned by the 52. Well, Seth's no, trying to down. avoid it, and then comes down into the 52, gets turned. Ooh, that didn't feel too good. That's the Jeff Gordon wall. Quentin Moore, can we see that? Quentin Moore. Well, we'll wow, take a look. A but then, oh, Gardner gets turned there. Oh, 52. Quentin, oh, Quentin, Quentin Quals. Quals. Oh, God. Uh, So Seth just loops it around. Oh, Lord again, Oh, no Lord again's in it. There's Rob Evans first off at road. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, what happened to Quinton? Because he wasn't like that when we last we saw it. But we got to see that job he did not to hit Kev. I can't believe he saved it. Well, he's going to get hit again, I think. Watch this right here. We got a good angle of it. Well, he, he's driving he, he through. Did. This well, he does oh, get he a piece there. Get it. But watch the save. Oh, that's Kev. Oh, oh what? A oh, oh, Kev. That's what I was talking about. Johnny turns Jess, then turns into Duncan, and then it's on. That's uh, how. Oh, that's what happened. That's why the twenty-four. Oh, Eskandari. Trevor the, Collins oh, gets Sam a Young. piece. Oh God. So the reason why the twenty-four was so down low because they were all trying to miss it, and the twenty-four got shoved to the apron by the seventeen and the six, right here. Well, so he's on track here, and he then just down. tries to avoid the six. And then right here, they come down and get and tries to miss he it. Just needed, he needed to think better. Just go to pit lane and avoid it that way. Yeah. And then oh, Sam, Young. Sam and Brian James just know where to go. John Irving gets a piece of it as well. But you know what this guarantees? We will have one spot on points because Sam Young is not getting that car back out there. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a new points leader. So we'll go ahead and take a few onboards of this one, then we'll take you back to the restart. Onboard Kev Shear. Damage. He got the wall. Better than the pit wall. Oh! On board, Muhammad Zain Adula. This can't be a good feeling. 
watch when you get hit by Jesus. And if you look over on the left, you can still see it all happening. Five wide. Oh god. On board James Qualls. On board, Kyle Matthews. Ooh, contact with Braxton. Almost hit me, and then, um... Oh. A little bit long, though. Yeah, somebody's got to cut the grass since Charles made the race. And last but not least, Matt Duncan. back as Con Field has been given the one to go signal out of the race after that last instance Sam Young, James Qualls, Brian James, Quinton Moore uh, Haley Lordigan we believe to be out as well as the 29 Muhammad Zain Abdullah, that one unconfirmed uh, there are 31 lead lap cars, Dylan Young is the race leader is the only guy who did not pit as Rob Evans is now second Buffode Sacco, Daniel Gitterock, Jerry Shelley, JT Bryant, Kyle Matthews, Matt Dixon, Hunter Braxton, and Jesse James are the top 10. Actually, 29 Jesse. is still running, so... I can't, I can't believe it. They're going to cause another wreck. As the green flag is back out. Uh, also, Andrew Miller actually out. Engine issues. Oh, that's tough break. As this might not end well, Jerry Shelley contact from the 48. Three wide oh, up God. for a moment. They're back to two. Yeah, they race it. Well, I mean, I can't blame them. They got to be impressive to make the chase. So that's that's Haley Logan's fourth straight DNF, too. Um, oh, trouble. I, I hear it. I think, yep. Yeah, Sam, Seth Cole. And, or Seth Cole and Marilyn Escondari around. The tap is over flaring. Uh, is racing back to the line now once again. Tr more trouble. Steve oh, Pollard and Mohamed Zain Abdullah. Oh, oh they're God. still wrecking. Matt Duncan. JT Bryant. Zach Flickinger. JT. I think I almost said JT twice. Oh, <laughs> Shelton Hamill. Well, we're going to have a green flag run now. Uh, We might at some point. And here I thought going to 107 would maybe make it boring. Uh, no, not even the case. It's Dylan Young finally pit. Uh, Dylan Young's going to pit. Looks like Buffode Sacco might as well. Well, um, that was something. And Rob Evans will stay out, so we'll go ahead and take a look at what happened. Hunter Braxton also will pit. Taking a look well, at what happened here, coming off turn number four, and Escondari just gives Seth Cole absolutely no room. Retaliation from the last wreck right there. Mitchell, Mitchell Collins Paul. gets a piece of that as well. And then Zayn Abdul, that damn lap car in the way. Oh, oh Duncan got took a shot from the 36. What are you doing? And then up here, Zayn Abdul, no talent. Uh, actually, oh, no. JT, no, Zach Flickinger cut up in front of the 91. Oh, my God. And it's Zayn Abdul. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, God. Oh, what a. Oh. Or was that the 90 then? Matt right Dixon there. gets a piece of it. There's Duncan sliding in. John Irvin. Oh, God. Was this? 91. I th So the 91. Oh, wow. So Flickinger cuts up on the 90. Yeah. Which gets the 29 spun. And the 29 comes back across and hits the 91. Well, guess what? MRSP is to send the bill to the DEI team. Oh, oh God, the 29. That was a freaking Jerry Nadu hit right there. Except this is turn three, not turn one. Oh, that's what happened for Duncan. He hits the 41. Yep. Well, uh, there's a lot of cars out, and they really and going then, aggressive. But, oh, God, Hamill. We weren't done. We oh, weren't we, done. We're, 
far from done. As then going through three and four, they're trying to avoid the wreck. Uh, Everyone's down the apron. Okay, this is not a good job. Oh, Gardner's the first one hit. Shelton has nowhere to go but right into her teammate, Trevor Collins. Joey's in the wreck. Mary Shelley's in it. Oh, John Norman, what a shot clock. (laughs) Mitchell Uh, Collins turned around again. Can we say uh, Sky Collins is going to win Portland? Oh, God, Mitchell Collins. Wow. And then, oh, he runs oh, into the 92. You. Oh, you, How did the 92 get turned? Oh, he oh, spun himself. Did Kev get the MA? Oh, God, Gardner. Kev, what a miss. Kev, what has he done? Jeff Gordon, the 2015 Sprint Olympics. Oh, it. wow. So, apparently, we're going to have a few onboards to take of this one as well, and then we'll get back to the restart. Once again, on board, Kev Shearer, who's trying to go for the points lead. And we are back. Drivers out of the race now after that last incident. Uh, are the following Matt the Duncan, field. Trevor Collins, Johnny Gardner, Matt Dixon, Steve Pollard, Matt Hamill, Jessica Shelton, JT Bryant, Mitchell Collins, Mary Shelley, Oreo Pollard, and Carter Joey. We are down to just 21 cars running. Top 10 are Rob Evans, Kyle Matthews, Daniel Gitteroak, uh, Jesse James, Ace Rogers, Sheila Shear. Kev Shear, Sky Commons, John Irvin, and Stephen Paul III as we're back to racing once again. John Irvin is in ninth with no hood. Imagine he makes the chase with no hood. As all uh, gone, he'd have to win first. Uh, as Kev's oh, around! Kev is around, no contact. No, doesn't hit anything. The caution will fly though once again. Oh God, oh my God. And somehow we didn't wreck coming back to the caution. Well, you don't need a replay of that. You already saw what happened. Oh my God! Oh, there. And Enzo Nereza gets a lap back through all of that. Nereza's hey. back in this. Well, we already know what happened, so that's good. <laughs> well, we'll take a look to see who it exactly was. We know what happened, but we don't know the who. So we'll go ahead and take a look back at who actually will have triggered Kev on the triggered Kev <laughs> weekend. Oh, Braxton and Irvin not happy with each other. And taking a look at what happened, and it's going to be Sky Commons in the 10 who gets into the 5. Sky Commons, you have just triggered the Master. And then luckily no one else able to, or no one comes along and hits the 5, so Kev's uh, chance at the points lead stays intact. You'll see this race because Kev Shear just got triggered on the Kev Shear weekend. And we're getting ready to go green, but there are issues for fourth place. Daniel Gitteroke, who came into this race 30th in points with a win oh, man. as he pulls off to pit as we go green. Mike Trout is the only driver not on the lead lap that's still running. And we are green once again. Rob Evans, still the leader. And can you guys make a lap, please? Sheila Shear, who's now... Whoa! Sheila Shear, who's 32nd in points coming in. She's now our benchmark, is up to... Th- is going for third 48 nearly got the wall here comes jesse james looking for the race lead jesse james as we're gonna make a lap i think barely mike trout though is off the pace in the 99 just cole deaver who's 38th in points trying to shot clock it and oh look at your get off the track (laughs) the one guy who has nothing to do but nothing but pride on the line in this one up here Kev in the Shear. top 15 oh, no, oh, no. and kev is actually in front of braxton that's big for the points battle we just saw kev backwards on turn two uh it was 20 oh boy that ain't looking good they keep it going i, I don't know how they kept it going right there we're finally making some laps that's good. uh by the way what i was going to try and say the difference between kev and braxton coming in was 24 points in favor of Kev. Now, Sheila Shearer is second. She won at Iowa last year. She knows how to get around the short tracks. 
And Sheila's here. Can't she shot clock and fits bars all right? Zacco looking for third on Rob Evans, last week's winner. Zacco finished. He won this race last year, actually, in the eight car, trying to get a back to back Richmond wins here. Sacco had four straight DNFs to start the season. He came into this race 10th in points. Still looking for that first win of the year, though. How about Paul, the 31 yesterday, one here to get to the final four in season four. And how about in season, no, season three. This is season five. And here uh, he's trying to one win. here? Yeah. This track one has here. never been in the chase. No, he won, he won here to get into the chase. Well, yeah, you said one here to get into the final four. Yeah, well, he won, he, he won this race, which he, got him into the chase to get him into the final four. Uh, that's not how that works. Either way, Kev Shear was spinning just not that long ago. He was the last caution. He's now back into the top ten. He's going for eighth. If Fitzwater turns, can we say Kev's going to be triggered? Uh, I think he'd be even more triggered is <laughs> what the proper wording would be. The 42 is still... Oh, it was engine damage on the 42. They are still running, though. Jesse James. I Jesse think. James is 36 at points. Oh, uh, no, it was Gearbox in the 42. They are out. So, Gitteroke, 30th in points, is now out of this race. And Mary Shirley, Shirley, who was 29th in points, is out of this race. And that's not what the field wanted to see. But Mary, could she well, still pass? Well, uh, it depends on who you are. If you're Paul Swanson or Aria Paul, you'd love to see him. Well, not, well, Matt Hamill is also out, and Mary Shelley beat Matt Hamill. So, that Mary Shelley could still get into the chase theoretically. As Sheila Shear looking for the race lead. As Kev, meanwhile, has grabbed seventh away from Cole Deaver. And here comes Fitzwater. Fitzwater wins again. Turn to the clicker. Uh, if Fitzwater wins, that would be his fourth win in the last seven races. <laughs> Deaver now looking for that spot once again. Looking for a spot as well on the 92, who's got damage to the rear bumper of his car. He's still running up in the top six for Cole now. Cole has yet to win in the truck or the Hooters series. It's one cup win at Pig Street. This would be the biggest Hooters win of his career. And meanwhile, Sheila Shear to the back bumper. It was 11 hundredths of a second last time around. This time it is 14 hundredths. Isn't that, isn't that both of Kev's drivers one too? Yes. <laughs> and then Kev himself is running ninth. What? Of all, of all the people to have all their drivers still running, it's Kev. Of course it is on this weekend. Uh, uh, also, with all their drivers there. still running, is Zach Rogers, who's got Ace, Enzo, and Braxton. Yeah, the 92 of that rear end damage killing him. Kyle Matthews has five career wins right now. He is trying to break to tie the record of Fitzwater and Swanson right now. Not and Swanson. also trying to extend his streak of winning in every single season that he's competed in. Correct. So he has yet two. to win so far in 2008. 32 races dating back to season four at Barber as Sheila Shear is hunting down the 57. She, I think Sheila's just playing a, a game right now with Jesse James. Just kind of uh, toying yeah. with him. Yeah, Kev's best friend right here, yes. As uh, this is Fitzwater's old ride from last year. The 59 hasn't won since, won since Twin Rig last year. They didn't win with Chris Washer in the, in the car. As right now, the top two looking like they're just... They're, I think they're content on riding as well because if they ride, they're just going to keep extending that gap out a little bit. As here comes Fitzwater looking for six. Dun dun. Um, yeah, Fitzwater's on the roll, man. And he, remember, Fitzwater was 39th. Uh, were you trying to go for jazz music? Yeah, Fitzwater was 39th. And I think point, and he what you were wanting was dun 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 dun. I don't know. I can't do as it you exactly. Can, I know. As you can what tell, I as you can tell, I work too much right here. It's now we're single file with all the cars out. Uh, yeah. Now we're finally getting some laps in as Kev Shear trying to look for a ninth spot on Dylan Young. Dylan looking for a race win. This is a car that won four times last season. Uh, was flat dominating. This year they've kind of fallen for many graces, but oh god. As Evans now losing a spot to Kyle Matthews, Fitzwater going to take advantage of that as well. These two were side by side at the line last week. They are again here, but it's not well, for the race lead. Evans is 40 points behind Mary, and now Rob Evans is going to make the chase at this rate. It looks like with Hamill and Shelley and Gittero out. Evans with just one single top five this season, the <laughs> win last week. That is hilarious. And Sheila Shear losing ground now as uh, Fon Sacco is hanging up there with uh, 21. Yeah. Now you've got to remember the 21 has won back-to-back -back Hooters titles with Alex May and Ty Pollard. So Sacco trying to keep the, the uh, tide going oh, there for the 21. Bum, 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 bum. 
That's <laughs> I, I I don't have to look it up to like get the exact thing, but I kind of know what it is. It's like that slow music plays as here comes Fitzwater looking for four. Uh, oh my god. So Fitz, so we found out why Fitzwater six when he did like I mentioned two wins in season two, three this year, and one last year. Uh, his four his tenure in the forty was very forgettable besides the wins. Mm -hmm. Rob Evans trying to take a peek as well. Evans wanting what would be a second top five this season is if he and can get around bird. the forty eight. Well, also trying to get bird. into the chase. Now remember, if we get one spot on points, whoever's the lowest winner falls out because we'll have more than 16, it looks like. Well, uh, I mean, you figure we'll replace two winners. It'll be Rob Evans falling out. Well, it looks like we might get the 42 to fall out. We might have the, the 60 fall out as Deaver now wants fifth away from the 83. Uh, Deaver would be the worst. Here comes the 92 of all cards. How is this car contending? Um, some blue, some uh, symbol in the back of the car to keep it up. As um, Kyle now makes the move on the 83, here comes the Trout. 20. Well, 21, they caught the 99, so Trout is now two laps down in 20th. But still out there. I mean, he has no. If like everybody pulls a Portland here, he's still got a shot. <laughs> well, I mean, the way that they've run so far, that's not out of the realm of possibility. Now, Seth Cole in 12th, I mean, 17th, even though he's running piss poor, like a lot of teams, he's still out there. He can pass uh, Tara Joey, Steve Paul, Gittero, and Shelley. As Fitzwater clears the lap car, so <laughs> no issues there, despite that being his nemesis, basically, out on track. Deaver is going to be able to make the move stick pretty easily. That's going to open the door for Kyle Matthews to get around the 99 and try and get around the 33. Cole's best finish is second in Orlando this year. Kyle has yet to win this year, like we mentioned. As Matthews now makes the move. As Fitzwater is two seconds behind, and dear Lord, we are <laughs> Well, he's in clear air, too. Trying um, to chase down. Oh, well, and he is, uh, he is the fastest car on track. He, yeah, if, he, if, well, no, sorry, Braxton actually is quicker. Well, if if uh, Fitzmar knocks Jesse James out of the chase, that'd be absolutely hilarious. At least I thought it was. I think there's a few no. guys in the 20s actually that last. Well, Je now remember, Jesse James is gonna have max points, so right now he would definitely pass Mary Shelley and Matt Hamill. Well, that's assuming Jesse James has led the most laps. Uh, at this rate, it looks like he has. As Evans making the move for seventh on the 92, Kev makes the move on the five, on the two car. That is for ninth. Yeah, the two car looks like they're not going to make the chase. Oh yeah, D no, Dillion has not won. Dillion's RCR, not no won, cars. so he he'd have to win first to be able to make the chase. He cannot get to the points lead. And before uh, it's up to Mohamed Zayadul to keep the RCR streak alive as he comes deeper. Deaver now makes the move on the 48. That is for fifth again. Dylan Young crossover on the five. Here comes Braxton. Yeah, we'll see Kyle in the 24 car tomorrow. Mm -hmm. True. Dylan yes. Young trying to find a way around the 92. I don't think he'd be afraid to move him if it, if it came down to it. No, I don't think so. Uh, somebody's As got Kev's going to lose point. a spot to Braxton now. That's big in terms of the points battle. If Braxton can get some breathing room between him and the five. He's gonna need at least like ten positions. He's gotta have the five. You gotta put the well, five. Well, no, it's wall. so it's twenty-four points. He needs to. Right now, they're battling for four points right here, just in that spot. So he needs Kev to start losing some spots even past this, and he needs to get up to about probably about seventh or eighth. Oh boy, Fitzwater is catching uh, the twenty-one. He's under two seconds. Uh, worth mentioning, by the way, Sky Commons actually did clinch his chase spot. John Irvin has gone a lot down. So we started the day out with nine spots to give. We're now down to at least just eight. Fitzwater. As the Jaws go. music is intensifying for Zachary Fitzwater, the gap under two seconds. We saw someone else close in a lot yesterday in the form of Buffod Sacco. Sacco trying to do it. Or no. That wasn't Sacco. It was Zayn Abdullah yesterday. I'm sorry. Well, it's the same driver, so I guess I knew uh, that one. Same user. But yeah. Bafod Sacco not quite closing the gap. Oh, to the, well, he is closing the gap on the leader. 
but Fitzwater eyeing all three of them in his uh, uh, windshield there. Couldn't get the right word. And this would be the all-time winning mark if this is one of his best wins if he can with it. If he can catch these guys. As we are now just a few laps to go is, I think that's seven laps to go, six to go next time by. Deaver gets a little bit of breathing room in the form of the 20. Jesse James, will he make the chase? If he wins, he has a shot. That's and all Jesse, I can say. Jesse James' best career finish is third. Was it third? Hold on, where is it? Jesse, where are you? His best finish is third at Sonoma. He got his second top five last week with a fifth at Orlando at uh, Monza. So, and right now, he is the slowest of the top four. Uh, Jesse James five. trying to hang on. Five laps to go at Richmond for the 57. We don't even need to paint a chase scheme for this one. <laughs> I mean, technically you would. It'd have to be orange and white instead of blue and white. So Kev going to have two out of his three drivers in the chase? What is this? As can Sheila Shear deny Jesse James a spot in the chase? If Sheila Shear wins, we know she's in the chase. Well, Jesse James is never going to be allowed over the Shear house if he knocks out Sheila. <laughs> Uh, Buffod Sacco starting to lose a little bit more time. He's now the slowest car, or he was the slowest car of the top four that last time. These two aren't going to factor into it. It's going to come down to these two, the 57 oh, Sheila, and the 59. Sheila got shit. Sheila gained a bunch on that last lap. Uh, only gained two hundredths. Needs to back. gain some tenths, though. In the well, tire needed. tracks of the 57 as they go through three and four. Two laps to go. This time by for the 57 of Jesse James. Jesse James is 36th in points. 37. 37th in points coming 37th in. 37th and he might make the chase. This is insane. He actually got the 59 that time around. Jesse James. I wish I had Jesse's girl, but right now Jesse James is dying that chase. You keep going to that reference and people weren't even sure what you were trying to go for on that last week. White flag for the 57 of Jesse James. Listen to Rick Springfield, you you uh, boomers right here. But here comes Jesse James. Two top fives this season. The most important top five will be his third. Can he hold on? No engine. Someone has an engine failure. This lap doesn't matter. Down the back straightaway. Someone had to pick late. It was the 48 of Kyle Matthews. Uh, but off turn four, Jesse James wins at Richmond. Holy crap. Rick, Rick uh, what's the guy's name? Rick Springfield is happy. Um, Jesse James actually is a tight end in the NFL in real life. Well, he, he choked to the Browns. So that's all that matters. Fitzwater with a fourth place finish. Braxton ends up eighth, but Kev is 10th. Kev Shear will win the regular season championship to make the chase. Wait, no, we got to give it to Braxton to trigger Kev. Uh, it ain't going to matter. It is Kev. <laughs> As the top 10 today, Jesse James, Sheila Shear, Buffode Sacco, Zachary Fitzwater, Cole Deaver, Stephen Paul III, Dylan Young, Hunter Braxton, Rob Evans, and Kev Shear rounding out the top 10 as only 20 cars finish the race. Uh, Stephen, your final thoughts on this one? Well, that was certainly interesting. Now, something to make note about. Now, Kyle and Seth are friends. And Kyle pit on that last lap and gave Seth an extra three points. Something to look at. I don't know what the scenarios are going to be, but Seth needed all the points he can get. But looking too much into it. She Sheila Shear with a second place. That's her best finish of the year all since her win at Iowa. But Fold Sacco will not give the 21 RCR their third straight 20, uh, 21 car win. Shame on you, Sacco. Time Paul, did, Time Paul and Alex made bust their ass to win those titles. <laughs> Zachary Fitzwater's in fourth. Cole Deaver with one of his best runs this year. He's 38th in points. So he'll definitely gain past Lorgan. Zachary Fitzwater, the odds on favor to win the chase, no, uh, no doubt. Pollard could not pull off his season four magic here. Young will disappoint the two car this year. RC only has one car in the chase now. Rob Evans in ninth. I think that will be good enough to get him into the 12. Well, I don't know because Kev will get one spot in points. So I don't know who's going to get that final spot in. Uh, we will know we'll have two at least, I believe. Norezzo is 12th. That's going to be good enough for him and Commons to walk in. Zach Flickinger had uh, nothing to do in this race. Jerry Shelley will continue the losing streak into the chase and probably uh, into next year, too. Cole is uh, 16th, so he might have got in. Escadari, definitely not. Trout and Irvin and Matthews will miss it. So we'll see if those three points helped out Seth or if it did not matter. So uh, the first race of the chase next weekend is uh, Zen Joltis. So, oh, what a way to start off the chase. 
we're going to Zen Joltis, Texas, and then Sky Collins is happy because we're going to Portland for the uh, the final round of round one. So I can't wait for Zen Joltis. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Dylan Young won here a couple seasons ago at Zen Joltis. So looking forward to that one because Jesse James could get another win at that. That's a plate track. And, it's, if, and I know he's a rookie driver, so uh, anything is possible there. So we got one more race left this weekend. Hopefully as exciting as this one, a little less crashes too. As with that said, congrats to Jesse James on his first career Hooter Series win. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. Uh, leave a comment down below if you could, just because it helps the channel out. It helps me out, all that good stuff. For Stephen Paul III, I'm Gordon Fantana 1, and this has been a production of the NRSL. You'll see the point standings and the chase grid right after this. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. One more race left to see who makes the cup chase.